Well, when he's not teaching his ag students at the University of Georgia, chances are you will find Dr. Nick Furman out in the woods exploring nature, maybe having a conversation or two with the animals. Yes, when it comes to ag and everything about it, Dr. Furman, AKA Ranger Nick, loves his job. Now, last week he showed us the importance of owls in and around your barn or yard. This week, Ranger Nick says, think twice before taking down those dead trees. They're more than just an eyesore. Hey everybody, Ranger Nick here in Northeast Georgia, back out in the woods. It's winter time and I wanna to talk to you a little bit about today is something we call coarse woody debris or CWD for short. Now, you look around the woods on your property and you may have a lot of dead stuff, standing dead trees, we call these things snags, downed logs and stumps, and a lot of people would look at that and go, what's the value in that? Well, if you're a small game hunter, squirrels, those kinds of things, these kinds of components of habitat are crucial. I want to show you this. If you've ever walked around out in the woods in dry leaves, you know how loud you can be when you're walking through the woods. Heck, it sounds like a marching band coming through the trees. But if you're a small mammal, like a squirrel, like a chipmunk, heck, even like a ruffed grouse, getting up on one of these we're going to call a runway and moving down this log allows you to move silently through the woods. Standing dead trees like this are an absolutely critical component of habitat for cavity nesting species. It's flying squirrels, gray squirrels, fox squirrels, owls like we talked about last time we got together, woodpeckers. If you're a wildlife watcher, standing dead trees like this, we call a snag, are a wonderful component in the habitat. Many people ask me, Ranger Nick, I've got all this dead debris out on my property. I'd rather just pile it up and burn it. One of the things I'm gonna encourage you to do is to leave it. Leave these things, as long as it doesn't pose a danger near your house or near your barn that it could fall over, leave this guy. In fact, try to get two snags, two standing dead trees for every acre that you have. Wonderful habitat component, and you can determine how often it's being used by wildlife. Consider coming over to a log and looking for scratch marks, looking for broken pieces of acorns and hickory nuts, things that these animals are gonna show that they've been sitting here and eating. If you got the kids out in the woods and you're looking for something to do, consider going up to a log and moving it out of the way carefully. You can often find salamanders and different kinds of insects down there to look at. Wonderful stuff out there. If you're looking to create a cavity tree like a snag and it's far enough away from your house, here's something you can do. Consider going out there and doing something we call girdling a tree. That is taking a chainsaw and just running right along the outer edge all the way around a tree. It girdles it, it severs this thing we call the cambium, this highway where water and nutrients travel up and down the tree and it kills the tree. It creates a standing dead tree without knocking it over wonderful habitat component right there. So we talked about small mammals, other kinds of wildlife using these logs as runways to keep up off the forest floor where they can make a lot of noise in all these dry leaves. I want to talk about logs like this serving two purposes. One, preventing erosion. A log like this along a hill, if it's this side of the hill, can prevent the soil from eroding and in fact can create what's called a nurse log. Get this, acorns that you may find that have rolled down the hill and in fact that squirrels have gone and buried acorns get planted up against this log and the log becomes a source of nutrients the log as it decomposes becomes a fertile ground for those acorns and hickory nuts to grow so we call these logs nurse logs and in fact in some parts of the country you'll find trees that almost appear as though they're growing with their roots out of the ground that's probably because that tree started growing on top of a log and the log has since decomposed and all that remains are the roots that are sticking out of the ground. These logs, again, coarse woody debris, a wonderful thing to have out on your property because it's preventing erosion, it's creating a place for those valuable trees like oaks and hickories to grow, it's creating runways for your wildlife, and also it just enhances the habitat for all those animals that call your property home. Okay, folks, and one final thing, when you're out in the woods flipping logs over looking for wildlife, just a little safety tip for you. Pull that log, if you can, towards you. Use that log as a barrier because you never know. There could be a venomous snake underneath of this log, so just be careful. Looking around out there, check it out, and be sure to put the log back where you found it because that's a habitat for little animals. 
Well, there it is, folks. Some simple things that you can do when you're looking across your property at coarse woody debris, logs, snags, stumps, all these components that make your property a great habitat for wildlife. Now, if you're out on your property and you're thinking about other story ideas or you've got a question or comment for me, I'd love to hear from you. Send me an email to rangernickuga, that's all lowercase, at gmail.com. rangernickuga at gmail.com and tell me about it. Send me pictures, let me know what you're doing, let me know that you're seeing this stuff out there and I'll write you back and let you know what I think about it and who knows, maybe we'll do this stuff together on TV. For Georgia Farm Monitor, I'm Dr. Nick Furman. Ranger Nick to all of us, and I look forward to seeing you again real soon. Thanks.